Salute my dear chemists and welcome to Akantharax channel. Today I am gonna show you how to perform purification using fractional sublimation. First of all you need sublimation apparatus. For simplicity I will call it sublimator. This is an apparatus base. Oh yeah, before starting all procedures you should cover the workspace using some paper sheets. To move your initial material into sublimator I recommend to make a paper tube to prevent meat from contamination. For today's experiment I am gonna use sample of dried slurry after Suzuki Miyara coupling reaction. Good. I put the whole stuff in apparatus and now you need to grease core joint a little bit but isn't higher than half of inch. It's essential because if you use a vacuum, some limiter could stuck really hard. So, do not use too much loop. Correctly greased joints should be transparent along the perimeter. The excess of loop could be removed by a glass stick. Further we need a thermos of liquid nitrogen for trap, which prevents a vacuum pump from moisture and fumes. Now let's go to set up a whole construction. For heating I will use a wood metal in the steel cup. Put the apparatus in clamp. Then connect water hoses so that water circulates top down. Ok, we are ready. Now put down a trap vessel into a liquid nitrogen. And just turn on the vacuum pump. Obviously, don't forget to put sublimator into wood alloy. This would be really sad to forget about that step. If you want to perform a fractional sublimation, it's necessary to install a thermometer into heating bath. Hey, be gentle with liquid nitrogen and wrap it with a little towel. Now I propose you to take a look at small time lapse of crystallization process. Yup, my stuff has nice blue fluorescence. So, how does fractional sublimation work? Simply, compound is heating to its sublimation point and turned into gaseous phase. Vacuum helps you to decrease this temperature. Then vapor just cool down on the sock, chilling with water producing crystals of purified solid. Different molecules have a different sublimation temperature, so you could isolate them from each other. For this method, successful separation is achieved with a phase temperature difference of at least 10 degrees C. After sublimation process is gone, 
Remove the thermometer and put off a sublimator from bath and let it cool down. Further, remove whole wood alloy from it. I will use an used xylophone sheet. In general, we disassemble the installation in the reverse order of assembly. Clean product could be collected from sock using scalpel onto metal or paper surface. I highly recommend you to use funnel and board from aluminum foil to prevent content from electrification. As you can see, I have collected a small portion of nice and clean dye. Vacuum grease cleans well with an hexane. Ok, today I have shown you how to perform a fractional sublimation and announced all steps of procedure. So, if the video was helpful, put likes, leave comments and subscribe to Akansarek's channel. Bye!